Welcome to County Office, your ultimate guide to local government services and public records. Let's get started. How do capital gains affect AGI? N adjusted gross income, or AGI, is a critical figure in determining tax liability. Capital gains are the profits from the sale of assets like stocks, bonds, or real estate. When you sell an asset for more than its purchase price, the profit is considered a capital gain. These gains can be short-term or long-term, depending on how long you hold the asset. Short-term capital gains apply to assets held for one year or less. Long-term capital gains apply to assets held for more than one year. The distinction between short-term and long-term capital gains is significant. Short-term capital gains are taxed at your ordinary income tax rates. Long-term capital gains are usually taxed at lower rates. The amount of capital gains you report will directly increase your AGI. Higher AGI can affect your eligibility for certain tax credits and deductions. Capital losses can offset capital gains, reducing your AGI. If your capital losses exceed your capital gains, you can use the excess loss to offset other income, up to a limit. NNIT is essential to keep accurate records of your asset transactions. This helps ensure you correctly report your capital gains and losses. The IRS provides forms and instructions for reporting these transactions. Form 8949 and Schedule D are commonly used for this purpose. To learn more, check out these links, which you can click in the description below. And feel free to comment your questions. We're here to help. Thanks for tuning in to our video. Please like and subscribe and leave a comment below. See you in the next video.